Hey guys, it's Joel from F50 Gaming, and today we are doing a top five countdown of the best GT car in Forza Horizon 2. Let's start it off with number five. All right, let's start off the countdown with number five. We got the Jaguar XKRS, and this car is the cheapest car that I'm going to show you today. It is 108,000 credits, which makes it actually very competitive when it comes to price. It is very fast, got 550 horsepower from supercharged V8, and you can really hear the supercharge on. Wow, that was a terrible drift. And yeah, it's a very fast car. It's a Jag, so you know it's just going to be mental. And it's very fun. It is actually a really good drift car if you actually tune it properly, which is good. So it makes it very good and very fast. So yeah, that's number five. Let's move on to number four, shall we? Okay, for number four, we got the Aston Martin Vanquish, and this thing is the same colour as the Jag, which is weird, oddly enough, because they're both British, but this is probably the best-looking car that I'm going to show you today. Um, it is probably just as fast as the Jag, and I cannot drift today whatsoever, but yeah, it is as fast as the Jag, but it costs two and a half times more. This is 253,000 credits, I think. Um, I got the 10% discount, so it might be a bit more than that. But yeah, it is a lot more expensive than the Jag, and it is just as fast. So if you don't really care about the looks and the name, I'll just go for the Jag, to be honest. But I put this thing at number four, because it just looks so cool. And let's move on to number three. Number three is the Mercedes-Benz SLS, and this thing is just awesome. I think it's the same price as the Aston, and it's also faster. So if you're looking for speed rather than beauty, I would go for this any day. And it is a Mercedes, so it just sounds freaking mean. That AMG 6.2 liter V8 is pumping out 562 brake horsepower and a shitload of torque. I don't know the exact torque numbers, but it is a shitload. And yeah, this thing's very fast, and I cannot drift today whatsoever. I'm hitting everything, which is a bit disappointing. But yeah, this is number three, and I think this is a really competitive car for the um, GT class. And I wouldn't say it's the best looking. I think the Aston is definitely prettier. But hey, it's awesome. All right, what is a GT list without a Ferrari F12, huh? So yeah, this is number two. And the reason why I put it at number two, because it's just, it's an awesome all-rounder. It's got 730 horsepower. It has a six liter V12, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, it has very good looks as well. And it's a Ferrari, so it's just all-rounded awesomeness, let's just say. And yeah, I don't think it is as good as number one, which I'll show you guys. It might be obvious what number one will be. It might not, but yeah. This thing is awesome. It is the fastest GT car in its class. Let's just say that. So yeah, this is number two. Heading to number one. Of course, it has to be number one for the best GT car, in my opinion, the Lexus LFA. And some of you will be thinking, it is in the modern supercars class, and yeah, it is. But since it is front-engined and it is rear-wheel drive, I class it as a GT car. And a lot of people also class it as a GT car because it is a freaking GT car. But that V10 just screeches. It has probably the best-sounding engine along with the um, Audi R8 because V10s just sound freaking awesome. And look at that wing and it just looks awesome and it's my favorite car to drive like the Ferrari F12 is nice but I like this better so that is my top five GT cars I hope you guys enjoyed take care please like see ya